All right, everyone, my name is Owen Marshall, and I'm going to be talking to you today about how the digital revolution we're experiencing now is actually a pattern we've had before. Um, the, the technology we use today, we use it in our everyday lives. Um, we can communicate with people around the world instantaneously, which, which is a great benefit, and this is a new, um, a new way of communication that we've not um, experienced it in the ages before, but there was something similar, which was the Gutenberg printing press. Um, today I'll explain how the Gutenberg printing press shaped modern day life. Um, we'll look at how it was invented, what did that change in society, and how the changes in society are similar to the changes we've experienced through the internet. Um, So it was invented by a guy named Johannes Gutenberg in the mid-1400s. Um, it's a maze of pieces. Um, two of the main parts are, it's called the upper platen and the lower platen. And basically you would put a sheet of paper on the lower one and layer ink on top of it and you would press it down with the upper plate. Um, um, this was an incredible feat for the time. It, it sped up the process remarkably. So how did this change daily life back then? Um, books became cheaper to produce. You didn't have to hire scribes to spend all day copying down these works. Um, it was able to be done at, um, according to Brit Britannica, it was done at 250 times, it was 250 times more efficient um, than just hiring a scribe to do it. And so because of this, reading became more popular in the middle and the lower class because it was um, because it was cheaper to produce, books became cheaper and less rare as well, um, and so they were more available. Um, it's also interesting that people who used to work as scribes started working manufacturing paper because paper was used a lot more. It, um, it, was, it was more prominent for sure. So. so how is the invention of the internet related to this? Um, so with the internet, the, the information now is much more available than it was with the printing press, but the ratio is similar. Um, you know, if, if you didn't have a, there was almost no books before the 1400s, right? And you, you had to be very rich and very well off to be able to read anything. And so this was just a life changer for a lot of people that could get, become more educated and it was very helpful. Uh, much like today, where we can learn pretty much anything at the drop of a hat. Um, we don't need to, I mean, I can learn anything I want to do tomorrow, pretty much, any sort of information, um, which is a great benefit that, that we have been able to experience. Um, and so I appreciate y'all listening. Um, I hope I've shown you how these patterns relate to patterns we've experienced in the past. Thank you.